Hey guys, it's Kevin Anson with TheVideoCourse.com. Here's what we're going to learn today. It's called Time Remapping Inside of Adobe Premiere. You probably see this a lot on your favorite TV shows. Big thanks to Greg Marcus, an instructor over at Full Sail University in Florida for requesting this tutorial. Also, I want to show you real quick what it looks like without the cinematic music track. Check this out. So that whoosh sound effect you're hearing will really add to the production value of your edits, especially if you're speeding up aerial shots like this. And you may or may not have noticed, but I added an exposure ramp in the middle of that clip for an extra effect. I'm going to show you how to do all of that very easily inside of Premiere. Also, there's one caveat about time remapping, and that is it only lets you speed up a clip up to 1000%. So I'll show you guys how to get around that. One last thing before we get started, if you want to download the whoosh effect, the whoosh, <laughs> there's a link in the description below to download that WAV file for free. And we're off. All right, so we have this aerial clip on our timeline here. It's almost 20 seconds long. What some people might do is they might actually just cut this in half and speed up the middle section here and be done with it. But that looks kind of sloppy because it's going to be an abrupt shift where it's all of a sudden just going to speed up and all of a sudden going to slow down. So what you want to do is you want to, that, that's what time remapping is for. So whenever you drag a clip down to the timeline, it's going to have this little effects square. So you're going to right click on that, go to time remapping and then speed. And I'm going to double click over here. So now I can see this white line going through the clip and I'm going to, I'm going to use my pen tool. So I'm going to say that, let's say from about here to about, here, I want to speed that part up, set another frame there. And now if I go back to my selection tool and I just drag this line up, you can see it's speeding up that middle section. So you can speed it up to all the way to a thousand percent. So if I zoom in now, it's still going to have that abrupt shift because there's a drop off line right here. That means it's going to go from a hundred percent all the way to a thousand percent immediately and then a thousand percent back to a hundred percent right here. So what you want to do is you want to smooth this out. So if you just click on here and drag this guy out, it's going to create sort of a ramp there, which is going to smooth out that transition between a hundred to a thousand percent. So now if you watch this, it's going to go like that and it's going to look nice and smooth. But let's say that I want that middle section to speed up even faster because it's only at a thousand percent. So I'm going to cut this right here, right on that marker there. I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to speed, speed and duration. And then I'm going to change this to, let's say 300. So what that's doing now is it's changing it from a thousand percent to 3000 percent. So now you can see it's speeding up that section a lot faster. It looks nice. So it slowly ramps up to 3000%. It's all 3000% all the way through here. And all of a sudden, boom, it drops off slowly back to 100%. So it's a nice even speed increase there. And one other thing I want to do is I want to add, I wanted to add an exposure ramp. So if I go to new item, adjustment layer, and I drag this over top here, Let's put it right about here. And now I'm going to add an exposure to that. So I'm going to go to my effects tab and I'm just going to use the um, Lumetri color because I know there's an exposure adjustment in there. Drag this onto the adjustment layer, go to your effects tab and under basic correction, I'm going to move this over a bit so I can see what I'm doing. Right about here, right before it starts to, to ramp up, I'm going to add a keyframe there. And I'm going to move over about maybe, I don't know, 12 frames. And then I'm going to ramp up the exposure to about there. That looks pretty good. You can make it as bright as you want. And then as soon as it lands, boom, right there, I'm going to bring this back down to zero. So you can see what that looks like. 
So I actually want to shift that over just a little bit. I think it would look better if it went right there. So that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. And then of course we can add our sound effect if we want to. So if we go in here and throw this sound effect down in there. Looks good. And really quick, we'll just cover the method of slowing something down. So we have this guy doing some uh, awesome moves here. And let's say that we want this first part, right before he does his first move, before he goes in the air, we want it to speed up from there to there. So of course, I'm gonna right click here, go to time remapping speed, set a keyframe there, set a keyframe there. We're gonna speed this first part up as fast as we can make it. And as soon as he hits that part right there, we want to slow it down. So we're going to set a keyframe there. And we want it to go slow from there to say there. Set another keyframe. And we're going to drag this guy down to 50%. So now it's going to start off fast. And then it's all of a sudden just going to slow down. But of course, we want to make this a little bit smoother, smoother over transition. So let's take a look at this. So as you can see, he all of a sudden does a really quick move and then he does this really slow, slow motion move in the air. And let's say as soon as he lands, we want it to go really, really fast up until this point here. Set another frame there, speed this whole thing up to a thousand percent. And I'm going to make the transition a little smoother here. And you can play with this, of course. And I can I can see that I went too far in this one. So you can actually drag the middle right here and just slide this over. Just like that. So I would probably just slide this over a little bit. Slide this over a little bit and you can make adjustments. Looking pretty good. And then if you wanted to add your exposure ramp, I left this over here. Just drag this on top. So let's say as soon as he uh, does his first move, we want to add that little exposure ramp flare right there. Right there. Boom. So you can add a little flare. All right, that's pretty much it for time remapping inside of Adobe Premiere. Don't forget to download your free Woosh sound effect. The link to that is in the description. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe. Feel free to leave your feedback and questions in the comments below. If you have a better, faster way of doing this type of stuff, please share that as well. And if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like me to make a lesson about, join our Facebook group and let us know. We'll see you next time.